Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the main event! Let's get ready to rumble! In this corner, weighing in at precisely so and so pounds, the jaunty of the jigs, Tony Harold! Alrighty, here I am! <laughs> I gotta bop you one. All right, then. And in this corner, weighing in at 200 metric tons, the master of Roshis himself, Master Roshi! Ah! It's time to dance! It's time to dance! Dance! And in the final corner, weighing in at BronyCon weight pounds, and English thing. pounds. Oh, wow, Joker Five! Oh, yes! Let me jump into a pair of Rami! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is the only kind of people we can get for this match, so I hope you like it. Let's get ready to rumble! Yeah. Oh, we want more but people in the ring! Yes, shouldn't it be? Let's get ready to settle. <laughs> Go back to Russia. Boo! Oblong. Go whack off in the trailer. Oh god. Well, looks like it's just us three tonight, boys. Yeah, we're three caballeros, three caballeros. And it looks like we're gonna be instead of wrestling each other, which would be really fun because I'd be like Rey Mysterio, Roshi would be like. Yeah. I don't know. And Todd will be like Steve especially, Austin. Yeah, especially with some, like, oil and stuff. Like, oh, No, just, we're not having a first-day night of Brony God. No, no, no. Slather it all over our yes. bodies. Okay, before we get into the, any more talk of, of oil, fuel. what's up, guys? I'm my vibe yep. here. And welcome to the season three finale of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic Blind Readings with the Lolly Boots! It's Woo! all over from here. It's all over. Since and I, uh, since I already, well, since Brother Roshi already introduced everyone, we can skip right into what happens. You see, we take a random script from My Little Pony Friendship's Magic Season 3, and with our varied voices and impressions, we take on various roles given to us by each other. And for Act 1, <gasps> I'm gonna decide for Ta, Ta's gonna decide for Roshi, and Roshi's gonna decide for me for Act 1. Did you just have a little mini seizure there? No, I did a weird catchphrase thing. Oh. <laughs> Not that kind of country, but we're gonna take a second to choose the roles, and you'll find out exactly how this weird thing works just by watching and laughing at the voices. So, until then, impressions. Impressions! Alright! We're back! So, for Twilight Sparkle, we got Todd doing Vegeta, for Rarity, we got Roshi doing Shaggy from Scooby Doo, for Spike, we're doing Jimmy from South Park, for Rainbow Dash, we got Todd doing Chamberlain from The Dark Crystal, for Photoshop, we got Roshi doing Bobby Proud from The Proud Family, for Pinkie Pie, we're doing more from Madagascar, for Davenport, we got Toddy Harold doing Cobra Commander from G.I. Joe, and for Applejack, I'll be doing Swedish Chef from The Marvel Show. So, without further ado, let's get to it! <laughs> Here we go. Morning in Ponyville shimmers. Morning in Ponyville shines. I know for absolute certain that everything is certainly fine. There's the mayor en route to her office. There's a sofa clerk selling some quills. Morning, kid. My Ponyville is so gentle and still. Can things ever go wrong? I don't think that they will. Morning in Ponyville shimmers. Morning in Ponyville shines. I know for absolute certain that everything is certainly... Rainbow Dash, that's not funny! Well, I'm terribly sorry, darling. I'm afraid I... <laughs> I'm not good at the funnery ones, huh? <laughs> Something tells me everything is not going to be fine. My little pony, my little pony, my... 
Meh. J- Jimmy. 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 Dude. Stop yes. It. What? What? What is it, Garmin? Dude. Dude. Stop it. Just. Just stop. Is there something wrong with my singing? All right, you come with me. Screw this theme song. We're going home. No, but, 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 but. What are you doing? What happened to your cutie mark? Like whatever do you mean, Twilight Man? I'm simply doing what I've done since the day it first appeared. Those like my sky look fabulous or what? Zoinks! Like two last season. Where is Rainbow Dash? Why isn't she handling this? Hey, I s- still don't know what you want me to have to wake me up for. I l- 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 sleeping in the rain. It's not about the weather, Spike. Rarity had Rainbow Dash's cutie mark and said this was Rainbow Dash's cottage. Something strange is going on. Wow! Mm-hmm. Hey, guys, it's Chamberlain. Rainbow Dash, why is Rarity doing your job? And what in Equestria is going on in here? These animals don't listen. You're not one little bit. They run around out of control and throw their hissy fits. It's up to me to stop them, because plainly you can see. It's got to be my destiny. And it's what my cutie Mark is telling me. I try to keep them laughing, put a smile upon their face. But no matter what I try, it seems a bit of a disgrace. I have to entertain them, it's there for all to see. It's got to be my destiny. And it's what my cutie Mark is telling me, child. I don't care much for picking flute and plowing fields in such a hoot. No matter what I try, I cannot fix this busted water shoot. Got so many chores to do, it's no fun being me, but it has to be my destiny. Guess what my cutie Mark is telling me? Spooky, 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 Like I'm in love with weather patterns, but the others have concerns. For I just gave them frostbite over top of their sunburns. I have to keep on trying, for like everyone can see, it's got to be. It's got to be. My destiny. It's for the And it's for my cutie mark. It's for the cutie mark. Yes, it's for my cutie mark. It's for the mark. This is bad. This is very, very bad! What's going on? Why is this happening? Well, last night when you were taking one of your seven-hour bubble baths, I got a special delivery from the princess. Dear Twilight Sparkle, the spell contained on the last page of this book is a star swirl the bearded secret unfinished masterpiece. Oh, he was never able to get it right and thus abandoned it. I believe you are the only pony who can understand and rewrite it, Princess Celestia. From one to another, another to one, a mark of one's destiny singled out alone, fulfilled. I cast the spell so I could find out what it was, but nothing seemed to happen. But now I know something did happen. The spell has changed the elements of harmony. That must be why the cutie marks are all wrong. So we just guess a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a it's their true selves that have been altered. Well, well, well that's a load of horseshit. Is it Gory's cure for the Gutebox? That won't work either. Well, hey, maybe it won't be so bad. 
maybe our friends will grid like their new lives. No, Spike. They're not who they are meant to be anymore. Their destinies are now changed. And it's all my fault. Alright, that's the end of Act 1. And that, I'll admit that was a load of fun. I can't wait to see what else we can screw up. I mean embarrass. I mean kill our throats with. Yeah. So, for Act 2, I'm going to decide for Roshi. Roshi can decide for Tan. And Tan's going to decide for me. So, okay. we can decide the roast for Act 2. Until then... The impressions! Alright, we're back! So, for Twilight Spark, oh. we're doing the Sultan from Aladdin, for Spike, we got Diversity and Grandma Pills, for Fluttershy, we got Todd doing Frankenfurter from the Rock Horror Picture, and finally for Rainbow Dash, we didn't cancel my calendar. So, without further ado, let's get to it! I've got to find a way to make this all okay. I can't believe this small mistake Could have caused so much heartache Oh why Oh why I Losing promise I don't know what to do Seeking answers I feel I won't get through to you Oh why Oh why I, I. Oh spy, what have I done? Ah, uh, come on, short man. You'll figure out a way to fix this. These are your friends. You're right, Spike. Have they been more to me than anything? My friends. Twilight? Are you alright? I've got it! Ha <laughs> ha! Yes, I know exactly what to do. I used to know what to do, but that was until Woodstock. I may not be able to remind them of who they are, but I can show them what they mean to each other. They'll find the part of themselves that's been lost, so they can help the friend they care about so much. Come on, Spike! Fluttershy, wait! Oh! Hey, Twilight. Where are you going? I'm moving back to Cloudsdale. I don't know what's wrong, but I can't seem to make any pony laugh. Before you go, I was wondering if you might be willing to help Rainbow Dash. She's really struggling with her animals, you know. But I don't really know anything about animals. <laughs> but... You do know something about Rainbow Dash. I know that she's a true friend, and I'll do anything I can to help her. Well then, come on, let's go, come on, on the way up, up we go, yes, oh, up, up, oh, no, that's not the wrong way, wrong way, oh, turn around, <laughs> oh, if only I might add my magic carpet, no, wait, that's a lot, let this go. Well, darn. Rainbow Dash. Darn. I'm in here. Help, I've been captured by pirates. Yard. Hurry, Twilight. Can't you do some sort of spell to get her out? No, Fluttershy. You see, you're the only one who can help. Rainbow Dash needs you. Um, hello, little woodland creatures. I know that you're all very upset and feel like giving Rainbow Dash a hard time. But we'd all really appreciate it if you'd calm down and maybe rest for a bit. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, look. Here's some nice juicy leaves for you to munch on. And some crunchy munchy acorns, too. Mm. Wouldn't you like to take a break and... Have a little snack. Oh, look at that. I guess you are all just cranky because you are hungry. 
Oh, you are very welcome. Goodness. It's like I can understand them. I feel strange. Like this is what I'm meant to do. Like this is who I am. My destiny. What happened? Let us shy look, your cutie mark. It worked. It worked. Aha! Oh, I'm so happy you're back to normal. Now we need your help. And the combatants are fighting each other to their finish. Then, oh wait, what's this? We have a surprise fighter. It's Sid Lamoy. And oh my God, she's carrying a chair. And yes, yes she is. Oh, she smacked Master Roshi 78 right in the back of the head, and he is down for the count! Sup. Hi, Hi, honey. How you doing? Hi. Yes, we have a Hello. reader joining us in Act 3. It's Sid, also known as her father, Gothic! Uh, I'm gonna bop you, one young man. <laughs> what? What?! Uh, but anyway, you that's. Shut all you got, you son of a bitch. You're going down, young it, man. All you got, you son of a bitch. <laughs> okay, that is the end of Act Two, oh, and so, so for Act Three, oh, let's go into pairs. Who hasn't chosen for who yet? I don't know. I haven't chosen for any of you. Yeah. <laughs> Todd, Roshi, you want to be each other's partner for this? Yes. Okay, Todd, Roshi, your partners, and Sid, me and you are partners. So, um, Roshi can decide for Todd, Todd can decide for Roshi, I'm gonna decide for Sid, Sid can decide for me. So, we'll be right back with you with the Season 3, Act 3 finale choices in just a moment. Until then... Impressions. Impressions. Alright, we're back. So, for Twilight Sparkle, we got Sid doing those Griffin. For Fluttershy, I'll be doing King Candy. For Rainbow Dash, we got Roshi doing Murder Face. For Remedy, we got Todd doing Aku. For Applejack, we got Sid doing Mob Pie. For Pinkie Pie, I'll doing Mojo Jojo. For Princess Lestia, we got Todd doing Hermes. For Futurama, for Shining Armor, we got Roshi doing Lily Gideon. From Gravity Falls, which I need to see. So, without further ado, let's get to it! Final act of this season. <clears throat> A true, true friend helps a friend in need. A friend will be there to help them see. A true, a true, true, true friend, friend helps a friend in need to see the light that shines from a true, true friend. <laughs> um, hello, friend trapped inside, remember? Rarely needs your help. She's trying hard doing what she can. Would you try to give it a chance? You might find that you start to understand. <laughs> a true, true friend helps a friend in need. A friend will be there to help you see. A true, true friend helps a friend in need to see the light that shines from a true, true friend. Ah. What just happened? There's no time to explain, but we need your help. Applejack's trying to make dresses. Say no more. Applejack needs your help. She's trying hard doing what she can. Would you try? Just give it a chance. You might find that you'll start to understand. A true, true friend of the friend in need. A friend will be there to help and see. A true, true friend of the friend in need to see the light. A child of a true, true friend. Oh my, what a terrible dream I had. Or well, maybe I'm still having it. Rarity, Pinkie Pie is about to lose the apple farm. We need Applejack's help. Lose the apple farm? Well, we can't let that happen now, can we? Pinkie Pie is in trouble. We need to get there by her side. We can try to do what we can now. For together we can be her guide. A true, true friend helps a friend in need. A friend will be there to help them see. A true, true friend helps a friend in need to see the 
light that shines from, from a true, true land. <laughs> now that's more like it. What's next? The townspeople are furious. We need the old Pinkie Pie back. I bought it. I know just the thing. The townspeople need you. They've been sad for a while. They march around, face a frown, and never seek a smile. And if you feel like helping, we'd appreciate a lot. If you'd get up there and spread some cheer from here to Canterlot. Come on, ponies! I want to see you smile! A true, true friend that was a friend in need. A friend will be there to help them see. A true, true friend that was a friend in need. To see a light that shines from a true, true friend. A mark of one's destiny, singled out alone, filled. Wait a second, that's it! I understand now! I know how to fix the spell! For all of us together, together with friends, with the marks of our destinies made one, there is magic without end! <laughs> <laughs> Where am I? What is this place? Congratulations, Twilight! I knew you could do it! Princess, I don't understand. What did I do? You did something today that's never been done before. Sometimes even a great unicorn like Star Swell or Bearded was not able to do. Because he did not understand friendship like you do. The lessons you've learned here in Ponyville have taught you well. You have proven that you're ready, Twilight. Ready? Ready for what? You've come such a long, long way. And I watched ya from that very first day. To see how your might grow, to see what you might do, to say what you've been through, and all the ways you made me proud of you. Oh man, it's time now for a new change to come. You've grown up, and your new life has begun. To go where you will go, to see what you will see, to find what you will be, for it's time for you to fulfill your destiny. Oh, my. Twilight, is that you? Gasp! Well, I... I've never seen anything like it. Ha! Twilight shot wakes! Awesome! A new flying buddy! Ha ha ha! Why, you've become an Arrowcorn! I didn't even know that was possible. Yes! We shall have an unicorn party! Wow! <laughs> you look just like a princess! <laughs> and I'm a king! <laughs> You're like my daughter or something! Except. Oh, oh shut up, you king candy! That's <laughs> because she is a princess! Wait! Hold on a second. <laughs> Princess? 
Since you come to Ponyville, you've displayed the charity, compassion, devotion, integrity, optimism, and of course, the leadership of a true princess. But does this mean I won't be a student anymore? Not in the same way as before. I'll still be able to help and guide you, but we're all your students now too. You're an inspiration to us all, Twilight. But what do I do now? Is there a book about be being a princess I should read? Oh, ho, 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 ho. there will be time for all of that later. We are gathered here today in celebration of a momentous occasion. My most faithful student, Twilight Sparkle, has done many extraordinary things since she lived in Ponyville. She even helped reunite me with my sister, Princess Luna. But today, Twilight Sparkle did something extraordinary. She created new magic, proving without a doubt that she is ready to be crowned Equestria's newest princess. Phillies and gentle courts, may I present for the very first time, Princess Twilight Sparkle. <laughs> Say something, princess. Oh, um, <clears throat> a little while ago, my teacher and mentor, Princess Celestia, sent me to live in Ponyville. She sent me to study friendship, which is something I didn't really care much about. But now, on a day like today, I can honestly say I wouldn't be standing here today if it weren't for the friendships I've made with all of you. Each one of you has taught me something about friendship, and for that, I will always be grateful. Today, I consider myself the luckiest pony in Equestria. Thank you, friends. Thank you, every pony. Twala, I'm so proud of you. Are you crying? No, no, of course not. It's, it's liquid pride. It's totally different thing. <laughs> <laughs> Way to go, princess. This is the best pony today ever! Yes! Oh, we love you, Twilight! <laughs> I love you too, girls! Life in Equestria shimmers! Life in Equestria shines! It's I know for absolute certain! That everything is everything is everything is certainly fine. It's fine. Yes, everything is going to be fine. All right. The musical mess is over with, and yes, for those people that before they type into the comments, yes, we didn't sing the last minute where it's like, yes, everything, because yeah. for one, you're not going to hear us over the background music, because we can't even hear what Twilight's saying over the background music when we're yeah. listening to the thing. It's basically a lot of static to me. Anyway, as you know, even though Sid joined us in Act 3, it's time to vote for the Impressionist of Hello. the... Oh. Week. Week. Oh yeah. And uh, and I already sorry. announced last episode that Todd is one of the things, so I don't need to address that. But Yay. so Todd gets a free pay badge, a free pay trip, and free hotel accommodation at BronyCon 2015. I'm Todd. gonna have such a good time. Todd, now that you've won, what are you gonna do? Now that I've won, oh, there's so many people I have to thank. Like um. Me. Uh, yes. Me no. for not doing as many writing, my, readings as my you. Lo my lover. What? No! <laughs> Wait, did you? I'll have you know we've anally bum covered each other. <laughs> See, it's not true! I swear! Oh, anyway, Jeffrey, the impressions Jeffrey, of the week. You know it's true. Okay, let's put the impressions of the week before this gets more uncomfortable. Okay. It is now official canon of the Blunderbolts <laughs> that Toddy and Joker have bummed. Well, if people listen to the hints of what happened Thursday night at BronyCon, then they're going to know that <laughs> she, Laser, me, and Mason were in the same fucking battle. <laughs> oh, my. Having said... 
Two of things with impressions. When Pee Wee Herman <laughs> says, stop touching my ass. And they're t- t- all <laughs> laughing manically while doing so. Anyway. <laughs> then Roshi reaches a... This is sounds like Fifty Shades of Grey Blunderbolt style now. <laughs> it's like, and then Laser put in his Dr. Claw voice and he fundled Roshi's ass while Pee Wee says... Anyway. <laughs> okay, we'll go. Okay, in Act 1. In Act 1, where was I? I forgot it. Ooh, in Act 1, I really liked Vegeta. I always enjoyed Tom's Vegeta. In Act 2, Grandpa Pill was absolutely hilarious. And in Act 3, my goodness. (laughs) Sorry, you lagged a little. And in... Well, thankfully, everyone can hear me. It's just you. All right, in Act 3... Ooh, there's a lot of good ones in Act 3. Ooh. In Act 3, I liked Lois, but Aku, I always love Aku, so... (laughs) To be honest, since two of them are Todd, I'm just going to give it to Todd and just say bye-bye, everybody. So my vote goes to Todd for his Aku and his Vegeta. Okay. And Todd, who's your vote go to? My vote goes to you for Swedish Chef. Yeah! Sid, who's your vote go to? My vote goes to whoever had the Frank converter. Todd. I thought you liked my mojo Jojo, man. What am I going to do, man? I liked your mojo. But, you but like Frank this. has Mojo Jojo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and Roshi, who does your vote go to? Taz got two, I got one vote. Enjoy your trip to BrodyCon, Toddy, because I vote for you and Frank Furter and Aku. Yeah! <laughs> what well, is the impression of the week is Toddy Earl! Yes, it feels so Yay. good to be loved. It actually fills a hole in my life that I otherwise not mention on live YouTube. You are not, unloved. Well, it's not live yet. End. Eventually, we will actually stream these again. We used to stream them on Bruce recorded YouTube from Stu, but uh, not anyone watched us. So we're like, why should we be streaming? <laughs> but uh, one thing to mention before, actually, before I do I mention that little thing, uh, let's see what everyone followed the reading. Roshi, what did you think of today's finale? And season three in general, actually. What did you think of season three in general? And actually, this is really nice because actually all three of you uh, were in most of the readings. First was Todd, Not second me. was Roshi, and third was Sid. So all of you were in most of the episodes. So Roshi, you first. You tell me what you thought of season three in general. It was a mess, but it was a good mess. As usual. <laughs> <laughs> How is anything a good mess? When I'm it's involved. A, it's a good, 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 good mess. Which means I yeah. loved it, but it was a mess. <laughs> there was there any certain episodes that you enjoyed of Rose Roshi? Probably the one, probably the first time I heard Toddy do Jesse Pinkman. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember which one that was. I think it was One Bad Apple. Yeah, One Bad Apple it was. <laughs> I, uh, that was a sick episode, yo. <laughs> and Todd, uh, what did you think of season three? Seeing as it's your first season, season three. it's your first season as uh, a blunderbolt, but I'll ask you anyway. First season as a blunderbolt. First of all, I had so much fun with you guys. Like it, it was, it, it literally was amazing. But yeah, it, it was an amazing mess. That's like the perfect way to describe it. Um, <laughs> uh, like blunderbolts tag, amazing mess. Bl- blunderbolts um, tag? What's that? Hashtag. Uh- <laughs> So every time a video is a complete good mess, we had to they had to add Blunderbolts as a tag. Yeah. So uh, I first of all, I'd like to thank Joker and Roshi and and Sid and all the other Blunderbolts for welcoming me on board. So this has been this has been really fun. Like I, I love it taking out my mornings and stuff like that. So cool. You're going to BrodyCon, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Lucky. Yeah! It's, it's a Blunderbolts curse. Whenever someone's first into the Blunderbolts, they do amazingly well. I don't know what that is. When Brochie first joined, he got impressionist of the week. When Stu first joined, he got impressionist of the week. When anyone first joins, they always win. I mean, it was even with Sid in her first reading, she got impressionist of the week. What is this? <laughs> I didn't get impressionist of the week when we first started doing impressionist of the week. Hey, you must be like new here. These people love fucking talent, all right? That's what they do, all right? But yeah, I mean, all right, it's Joey. Not, it's not about rocket science, okay? Uh, the, regarding the Brony stuff, I'll get to the lat just after me and Sid see how things like season three. Sid, what did you think of season three? Since like Todd, it was your first season as a blunderbolt, but you have watched this before. What did you think of season three? Oh, by the way, going as Lyra or Discord. <laughs> anyway, for my first for season three, I thought it was there's no other way to describe it except a creative, exciting, improv. Improvising mess. 
It sounded like she was trying at the best she could to find good words about it. It was, it was like a she was reading the teleprompter. Creative. <laughs> yeah. It was original. Please, please welcome Adele Dazim. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> Adele Dazim. Yeah, anything else you want to add? To it? Like, oh yeah, Tom, what was your favorite reading of season three, even though it was pretty short? Um. Uh, I don't remember which 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 one it was because I had so much fun doing like all of them. Um, first favorite, it, it was a one with Laser and Roshi. Like I don't remember which one it was. I, it, was it was the one, one where it was one we were camping. It was. Yeah, I yeah. think uh, we might have been doing like Hank Hills or something. Oh I, no, that wasn't Laser. That was Aerodynamic. Oh, that sorry, was Aero. Yeah, Aero. I'm sorry. Aero. Yeah, Arrow. <laughs> sorry. Um, Aero. And um, the second favorite. Think the one uh, you and I did. Like that was that was pretty fun. Yeah, that was awesome. Master Roshi and Mr. Demartino and Stewie were all the animals. <laughs> Anyways. And Sid, what was your favorite reading that you were in this season? Well, that's a tough one. I like the first episode that I did, but I also really like doing Sleepless in Ponyville. Yeah, like you were there as well. Todd, you forgot. Yeah, I remember. Thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember. Super comic. That's when... That was one that Laser was in, yeah. Uh, and that Roshi was in. Yeah. As for me, I... Most parts, it did feel empty because most days, when it came into September, they're obviously everyone's getting more busy, and it was really hard to get an episode. In fact, it's been two weeks since the last time we recorded one, so... Yeah. But it still was fun. I'm glad how everything turned out. Uh, especially glad that he joined uh, us. I think Todd is absolutely freaking amazing. He's way better than I am. He's... Because he doesn't just add things onto his list and just go, yeah. Oh, shush. Like I do. Um, in fact, if I ever actually had to <laughs> with the Blunderbolts due to John of Animation and all that, I would leave Todd or Roshi in charge. Uh, but never mind that. Uh, if I had to choose favorite reading, it would be impossible. <laughs> I actually did try doing that um, last year. I tried to make a top 12 readings as of season 2, but I just love every reading so much. I love... I love hanging out with you guys. I just love laughing mm-hmm. with you. I love doing hot jokes. I just love hanging out with you guys because I have no friends. Actually, I do have friends, but I like to pretend I have no friends so that way everyone thinks yeah. I'm an absolute sad person and they give me all their pity and they watch the rest of my videos. Exposition. You have me. I've had a lot of people. Yeah. I love you, man. All right. So that. Uh, oh yeah, that's something I always mentioned. That's what I was talking about. As Todd mentioned, or as I've mentioned a million times. Both me and Todd are definitely going to be at BronyCon. Yeah! Uh, <laughs> other Blunderbolts, I'm not sure yet. Uh, if Faye is I going, might go. Sid might be going. Roshi might be going if Faye's going because she can pick him up. We're not sure about that. Yeah. Not sure about Princess Rill, who was meant to be in season three, but she got Roshi, so busy with her job. You have to come. She you got have so to come. busy with her job. She can make it. Really sorry about that, Rill. But if you're going to BronyCon, you get to show up all your amazing stuff. Rill is absolutely amazing with Ruber. I know this is taking so long, but this is season three from now. So if you don't want to listen to us ramble on and see the credits, then just skip through the timeline. We're just going to talk about uh, Brennan Kong. But I will put up, maybe I put it up before this, or I put it up sometime after this, but I will say if we did get a panel at BronyCon this this year, because it's just going to go up in, like, February or something. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, oh, I will put up a video be saying there. if we are or not, if we have a panel, what time, all that <laughs> Who's going to be there? Actually, even that probably won't come up, but you can register with me. Todd is going to be there if you want to meet us, whatever. Just, I don't know how that's going to work. Just put it down below or something. We'll also say who we're cosplaying as, because I want us to cosplay as a main six or a bunch of villains. Well, that's too bad, because I'm being Discord or Lyra. Fine, you're being Discord. Dibs on Chrysalis! Dibs on Maniac, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> uh... So yeah, if you want to you know, with us, message, some of that. Other than that, I think season three was amazing. I sculpted a liar. I, actually, to be honest, I think season three is the best of all. I think we keep getting better, don't you think, Roshi? Because you've been worse in season one. Do you remember we got embarrassed in uh, season one and two? Is he there anymore? Like, Roshi? Oh, I'm right here. Yeah, what do, you, what do you think, Rich? You think we've gone way better since season one and season two for this season? Uh-huh. And um, what made you think that? Evelyn Todd, of course. <laughs> what? We've gone better because you joined. I was going to say, don't mention that because that's a little obvious. 
So what do you think is better than Bro Sheep this season? Oh. Apart from Todd. <laughs> don't worry about it. Everything's better. I don't... I'd like to go in the description, but maybe it's best we keep this short anyway. So, yeah. thank you for watching My Little Pony Friendship's Magic Blind Readings Season 3. We're going to see you next year for Season 4 when our co founder, Chief Skarnak, returns. I'm so fucking excited because by the time this goes up, he's going to be here. I'm getting goosebumps already. <laughs> Sorry, I love Chief Skarnak. He's like my brother now. He's my actual freaking brother. He's more of a brother than my actual brother because my brothers I actually never see. So, this has been for season three. I love how this is going. Like I said, these are the three that appeared in most of the episodes. In third place was Sid, also known as Herb Butler Gothic. Hi. In second place, came really close, but he's had a load of bad things in his personal life. I won't mention them, but I will say second place was Master 78. <laughs> I'm number two. He's number one. I can't Man, believe I'm looking for an And first place going to Brony Khan is Tony Howard. Yes! Yeah! Yeah, Why brother! Why oh, I'm a little old. Tony, I'm not a I want some. <laughs> and me, Loma5, also known as Joker. Thank you for watching My Little Pony. Friendship is magic. Blind readings with the blind bolts. And we'll see you at BronyCon or we'll see you in season four. Take, <laughs> take bye, care. Everyone. Take care. Tatty, bye. And good night. Bye bye. Yes, BronyCon, a bitch. I'm so tempted to go with Baku, but you've already That's done that. So Morning in Ponyville's great. Uh, what? Uh, Morning in Ponyville is dark and desolate. You mean I fall oh. all into the cutie magas. I throw open twilight sparkles. But marshmallow ass. <laughs> marshmallow. I love the way you had him say that. And then I, I slowly oh. spread open Sweetie Bell's marshmallow. No, 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 no. For God's <laughs> sake, you people have no decency. You know what? Uh, Napa. Vegeta! I'm over in my cloud. Hey, Vegeta. hey, Vegeta, Vegeta. What? Guess who? What? Guess who I'm dressed as? Oh. A wuss. No, I'm Vic Vignana. Ah, my poor vocal cord. Stop making Vic Vignana jokes. Those are old and retired. Oh, last night when you were taking one of your seven-hour bubble baths. It, 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 it wasn't me. It was never. That's right, Vegeta. I have to have my seven-hour bubble baths before I go catching Pokemon. What do you need bubble baths for? You always stink. But Vegeta... Ever since I lost my hair, I have to keep oh, my body up. in absolute perfect shiny permission. A mark of one's destiny singled out alone. Fulfill. That doesn't make any sense! It doesn't even rhyme! I think it was pretty, Vegeta! Oh, what do you know about poetry? Well, I wrote that one jingle for... Ah... Uh, I can't remember, the show was really terrible. But it was a really nice jingle! California, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that was it. Thanks, really random presser. Well, I, I play, I played a character on Lazy Town for a while, so beat that. I'm in Hollywood, Vegeta, as a producer. Beat that. I oh, got to it. find a way to make sure Jasmine doesn't turn gay. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> let her, let her turn gay. Let her turn gay. I can't believe this small mistake. If she turns gay, then I can watch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's the see. The princess okay. will not turn gay. I can't believe this small mistake. 
turned into a girl who is always baked. <laughs> oh, gosh, she is Frank and just book promptly. Yes. <laughs> reaction. Yes. Yes, like, I think it is. Then the spill, you man. I tore for a hole in the world. Hey, don't come in, man. Go bestie, eh? Do it. Wow, it sounded like a demented kiff. <laughs> Captain, I'm gonna kill you. Well, it looks like you've had way too much drugs there, Kip. That sounded Get like on it. with it! Spy gets me my antidepressants. I'm afraid that Jasmine has gotten pregnant. Did you do all cool last reading? I'll check. Uh, I think I, I think I might have. No, he did Apu last reading. <laughs> <laughs> Close. What's next, Apu? I could, I, could, I could do them both together. <laughs> Apu and Aku. Yeah. Oh, I got my It's time for a poo. <laughs> Akupu. Akupu. I do Would, you, I do would you like a slushy? Would you like Akupu a slushy? Akupu boo. Slushy? I do open a bottle into his butt. Oh, Alright, oh, right. we're back. So, for Twilight Spark, we got Sid doing Lois Griffin. For King Candy, I was doing Fluttershy. Wait, what the fuck? Fuck. <laughs> Why do I keep reading backwards? Bloopers! Bloopers! Uh, why do I keep reading backwards? In, uh, in the name of King Candy, you'll the... spread Fluttershy's sweet marshmallow ass. <laughs> <laughs> and Rarity's. Rarity's got the best marshmallow ass. Anyway, go on. Rarity's best marshmallow. Oh my goodness! Well, that was that was the actual unicorn here. And now she's gone. There is a unicorn here, right here, right here. I do not recognize her, but this time I will recognize myself because there was a unicorn here. Now it is gone. You've gone such a long, long way. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna have to listen. To <laughs> You've come such a long, long way. <laughs> Sorry. It's gonna, it's gonna sound like a Bob Marley song. You yeah, it is. You have a long, long way. We have to do an acapella with just some bongos. Rip some Yaman. You have you got that long, long way. It's <laughs> a piece of love, Yaman. When you got <laughs> these three little birds along with you, on this long, long way. May I present for the very first time Princess Twilight Sparkle. You can buy her at most stores. She's a princess now, not a character with motivations. Now nah, we can sell because we're Hasbro and we're evil. Yes, we want your money because we don't care about creativity or originality. Okay, we okay, just okay, want okay. your money oh my god, now. Okay, okay, god. I'm just, I'm singing. I'm singing. I'm singing. I, I want to sing. I like singing. Anyway, crowd cheering, yay! Birdies. <laughs> <laughs> the birds. <laughs> oh my god! Would you just fucking be quiet for a minute? God! What? Look at this little racer at the end of the fucking luggage ball! Look at the ingredients! It's not what I'm saying! I just don't understand this boy! Shut up! 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 Okay, both of you go to your room. Join me in improv. Bye, good night, everybody.